right now at the very top of this segment in this bulletin we are bringing to you a rather crucial story and joining me with uh, in the very studio is Sudhasana Anand, Hi. News 9 Consulting Editor. And well, we will take you through this rather crucial announcement that's been made by the Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister. And what are the implications of this very announcement? How does it play out? How will it be executed? What will the consequences be? Let us, in fact, take you through that in detail. Now, on the occasion of the International Day of Women and Girls in Science, Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister and Chandra Babu Naidu has announced a major push for work from home initiatives, particularly aimed at empowering women in the STEM fields. Now, in a post on Platform X, Naidu has emphasized the need to provide equal opportunities for women in these fields and highlighted the state's plans to promote work from home on a large scale. Naidu has stated that such initiatives would not only help women achieve a better work-life balance, but also drive meaningful change in the state. He stressed that educated women should not be confined to their homes as homemakers and that flexible work options could unlock their very potential. Andhra Pradesh government is taking a game-changing step with its IT and GCC policy 4.0. Under this very policy, the state plans to offer incentives for developers to create IT office spaces in every city, every town and mandal. This initiative, in fact, aims to generate employment at the very grassroots level and support IT and Global Capability Centre, that is GCC, firms. Naidu has expressed confidence that these measures would foster greater workforce participation, especially among women professionals, who would benefit from flexible remote and hybrid work options. He has also highlighted the very importance of the co-working spaces and neighborhood workspaces. In fact, on your screens right now, we're bringing to you some of the trends and numbers. Though this very report comes in from the year 2023, from what we can understand, the trends still exist to be the same. Now, training programs will be conducted to equip the women with the necessary skills and designated workspaces will be created to support their integration into the workforce. Remember, during the COVID-19 pandemic, the work landscape underwent a significant significant shift with work from home gaining prominence in our country. Naidu acknowledged that while remote work can help women balance professional and personal responsibilities, it can also pose challenges, however, to their career growth. So it goes both ways, pros and cons that we will now be discussing in greater depth. And in fact, joining me on the broadcast, uh, along with my colleague Sudha Sadanand, we'll also have Dr. Kiran Preet Kaur, who's a global talent acquisition voice and top 50 HR voice and a PhD scholar. Dr. Kaur, thank you so much for joining us at News 9. Uh, you know, I'll in fact come to you, both of you at this point with this question. We're all, in fact, women professionals here, female professionals here, and who better to take this question that a work from home trend for women, how would this particularly help? And what are the cons behind it? Because the chief minister has also come out to say that it may, in some cases, hamper the career growth. Are we on, are we all agreeing on that point or do we see this particular initiative being taken by the Andhra Chief Minister as only a positive one? Uh, Dr. Kaur, I would want to take your response first. Sure, thank you so much, first of all, for having me here. Um, I would suggest that any new initiative, you know, comes with a positive and negative both, but anything that has more than 80% of positive consequence, I feel must uh, be entertained, and this is one of it. Um, not only this helps women in, you know, coming back from their maternity breaks, those of, uh, who, who are unable to, you know, who are very well educated, very well inspired, ambitious, uh, drop out from their profession just because of their personal commitments. This will be a chance for them to step up, take it back, but also it will help a um, lot of women get financial independence, which is uh, the need of the hour. Uh, and not only will it support the economy, but also will boost so many households we never know. Um, and especially when, with respect to uh, you know the I, uh, IT and GCC policy 4.4, Mr. Naidu very well said that we need women to step up uh, their games in STEM, uh, which is science, technology, and engineering, maths. Um, primarily because these are those areas where smarter you know talent is required. We have very limited uh, number of people who are open to take up these kind of jobs. Um, so women, if they get enough opportunity to balance their personal commitments as well as you know, have a little bit of support 
um, from the industry to uh, you know level up their career games will only enhance uh, the opportunities to have more women leaders in the board and this this only uh, you know um, uh, reflects that we we will be able to attract a uh, better workforce we will be able to retain talent we will be able to build a more strong and diverse workforce which is the need of the art and this is not within india this is i think happening all across uh, if you uh, you know read a study uh, even in dubai which is you know um, where we see less uh, uh, women in in numbers to be following uh, something similar you know their uh, uh, dew dubai electricity and uh, water authority also promotes work from home for people who come for women who come from maternity break even in europe sap has co work day policy even in us you know we'll find remote work policy very much prevalent even in um, australia um, uh, remote policy is prevalent so i think india has to uh, you know go to the next level get into this game and ensure that we have more women leaders in the economy who will not only help boost the economy but also will be the game changer Absolutely. In fact, now I would want to pose the same question to you, Sudha. What would you have to say on this? Well, I think that you know, uh, working women, you have to see it in the milieu of the cultural and social kind of a background. We are all women. Yes, we are all working. Yes, but where are we working? That's very, very important. I think Chandra Babu Naidu has made a good start uh, because also the thing is that let's understand. Can being I'm a journalist. I, my brain is only ticking, Shreya, about what are the political implications of it. If you may recall, he wants families to have more kids, and one of the arguments was that if the woman is working, I mean, how do you expect her to have more kids? And the more kids is now dovetailed into the delimitation exercise in Parliament. So many southern states like Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu chief ministers have come forward and said, and. you know naidu shriya has particularly said that you know you may not possibly get a chance to fight the panchayat elections if you do not have more than two kids so what happens is that if women work from home there is there could be a thing that maybe they can you know manage this first of all i'm against work life balance because it only hinges on me and you and dr kaur well uh, that should be debunked it hinges on both the genders even the third gender about who does the work and you have to do the balance act very well but what i spoke about the social and the cultural milieu it may work and particularly the field science technology and engineering and mathematics stem what is it maybe it really works for them but there are also you know your yeah, the some cons to it for instance it's been found the world over that you know the women who work from home actually become more invisible because you're mm. not interacting with people during zoom meetings women this is again data this is not perception that they are hardly heard because you're not even in the office right and there is a perception and maybe a bias that oh she's working out from home maybe she's petting her dog with her you know foot so why is it that we are coming to work so therefore you know there it could be it could hamper your career prospects as you go forward today i was reading that a gentleman who spoke spoke about 90 hours uh, a week work also said why is it that people don't want to move locations you should be ready to move locations he doesn't understand that the thing is that you become comfortable with a place of work because you know the public transport which is really bad all over india uh, uh, abroad you know in uk you can walk to work from the metro from the tube uh, can you do that in, in in this country well search me so the things is that there, there are several aspects to it so even as there are pros of course you know and which is also hinges on a very biased social thing that i can take care of my baby while i can do a zoom call with you shreya or dr kaur so i can manage both worlds it is just telling but what happens to my career prospects going forward shreya i think very pertinent points that have been put forward by uh, both of you at this given point in fact going into the technicality is a little more now dr kaur i would want to ask you at this point that uh, you know uh, chandra babu naidu has also uh, in this very initiative he's also spoken about how we need this work from home model module to in fact be implemented at the very grassroots level now when we speak of the grassroots level there are several challenges that we are talking about in fact from internet connectivity issues to yeah. even people who will be working you know 
in fact, we were speaking about this earlier, Sudha, yeah. that, uh, you know, Ramnath Kovind had once come out to say that it's a triple burden. Work for, from home for women is a triple burden. They already have their domestic responsibilities. And then we see this particular on the work front, we see more responsibilities piling onto them because of this work from home culture. Now, how are we looking at addressing these challenges, Dr. Kaur? So uh, let me first redefine. We are not going to force anyone to, you know, be in the industry and work. Um, this is just an added advantage for those who want to ensure that their careers are, you know, going good. There is no gap in it. They're able to successfully manage their home and their work. Um, at the same time, let's understand that there are two kind of, uh, you know, um, uh, communities. One. Who, who are very introverts. They do not like to spend their time, you know, traveling one and a half hours, two hours a day. They would rather be, you know, uh, more productive if they're just given a loop some, some time where, you know, they're able to um, maintain their peace of mind, where a lot of creativity is required, a lot of numbers are, number crunching is required. They need their own space, right? They, they would not, they would hesitate coming to office. If they're leveraged with uh, something of this sort of a setup where, you know, we give them a choice to work from anywhere, they get into a comfort place where their contribution becomes 10x of what they will be contributing if we are forcing them to come to office and sort of uh, manage uh, the other things uh, alone. And let us also understand we are anyway, you know, um, uh, when we're coming to office, we're not um, giving away our responsibilities at home, right? There is someone who's managing our mind is half of the mind uh, is somewhere at home. So mm -hmm. this only brings peace to the table where we are sorted. You know, we have a house help or somebody who's looking after things. We're right there. The kid is playing in front of us and we're in a separate room. We're working as well. Of course, there are certain guidelines, ethics that needs to be followed. Uh, you're creating a remote work model, uh, which, which means, of course, data privacy, a lot of things will come into the picture. We'll have a dedicated productivity officer also in the near future who will ensure that, you know, the productivity is there. At the same time, then there is another community who likes to come to office, who feels that, you know, they're very distracted when they're working from home. You know, in-person meetings, maybe that mm. regret may stay, but that, hey, you don't get everything, right? You got to give up something to get something better. I mean, the youth call it the fear of missing out. Yes, in the FOMO. Today's, the FOMO, yes. <laughs> in today's language, yeah. the Gen Z language on lingo that goes out there is called FOMO. But, uh, you know, that is quite a quite an interesting conversation we've had on this very subject. Dr. Kiran Preethkaur, thank you so much for joining us.